Hey YouTube, so um, I had already filmed this book review, but um, I realized that in the video my head was cut off, so you couldn't really see my head, you just saw like this much of me, so I'm going to do it again, and I'm filming, uh, what? I'm doing the book review for Divergence by Veronica Raw. And I'm not going to give too much away, or at least I'm going to try not to, but um, it's kind of Hunger Games-esque in the sense that um, when you turn 16, uh, you have to do something. And in this case, in this book, when you turn 16, you have to go into, you have to do an aptitude test to choose which faction you're in. And basically, the factions are like, different groups like it's classified into like what type of person you are basically um what the aptitude test does is it gets a peek into your mind and it creates a situation inside your mind where you have to decide quick on what to do and that basically decides which faction you're in but here's the thing you get to basically choose which faction you ultimately want to be in if you want to stay in your own or if you want to transfer over. Well, in Divergent, we have 16-year-old Beatrice Pryor who um, just turned 16 and of course has to take the aptitude test. And um, she takes the test and her results are a little wonky, but I'm not going to get into that because that might give too much of the book away. But um, her tests are wonky, which leads her into, which leads her to, I'm just going to say, which she chooses a different faction other than her own. I'm not going to say which faction, but uh, it leads to a sort of war between her current faction and her old faction because there's some disagreements going on because normally, um, initiates they do not transfer over from, from their faction to a new faction basically they like to stay in their own faction but Beatrice has decided to transfer over which has set some tension up and the four factions are abnegation for the selfless uh, dauntless for the brave slash bold uh, I believe it's Amity for the peace, for the peaceful, Candor for the honest, and Eurydite for the intelligent. And now I'm going to go ahead and list my good points slash bad points, because that's usually how I do my book reviews, so it's not so much as a book review. It's more of my opinion. But, um, one good point that I liked was, um, the action in it. Uh, Divergent held so much action in it that at times it was a little bit unnerving because the current, the faction that Beatrice has transferred over into, there is so much intensity that goes on into their training that she has to learn all new things. She has to learn how to fend for herself and such. And there is so much fighting in there, like action and training. It's crazy that at times... You just kind of wanted it to stop because it was just like one thing right after another like bam 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 and it was just whoa a bad thing one bad point was that i would have liked a little bit more backstory to it um as in the backstory to the factions like why were they created how did they become uh what made them divide people up into different groups and stuff like did a big war break out or like what what happened there maybe they're going to talk about this in the second or third book i haven't read the second book but i have it it's on my to read list so don't tell me and if it's not in that book hopefully it's in the third book because i like a little bit more backstory here but that's just me uh another good point is that i liked the relationship that tris I had with four which is this boy in her faction who ends up being 
her boyfriend. I liked the fact that their relationship kind of built up slowly. Like, she went from wondering who he was and discovering who this mysterious boy was and them, like, slowly building up into a relationship that she, that she was just like, oh, can you just get together already kind of type deal. And also you get to find out a little bit more about Hor's backstory and who he is, which I really liked. So, and what made him the man he is today. So, that was a good point. Um, uh, I had a bad point in my mind. No, I just totally forgot that bad point. Okay, so, uh, a good, another good point is that I like that we kind of get to see Triss's progression into her strength. Like, she didn't necessarily start off weak, but being that she was in abnegation, which is the selfless, uh, she wasn't doing things for herself. She wasn't really sticking up for herself. She was just there and blah not fending and in this new faction she is she's learning to fend for herself be more confident in herself and have like more inner strength and toughness which i like because i like the bad bitch factor uh which also leads into a bad point i felt like it wasn't really beatrice being who she is. I felt like she was kind of, in a way, going along with that faction. Like, she wasn't really being her, her. She was just going along with the flow of the faction and stuff like that. And I would have liked to see her, like, be a little bit more of her. Like, if she had some traits from M Negation, well, she did, but I kind of would have liked to see more of her instead of her going along with kind of the faction that she is in now but um it was a pretty good book I would recommend it for young adults who are into dystopian type books and the age I would kind of give it to is around 14 maybe 15 because there can be some um suggestions in there but um I'll list all that down in the description and what else? What else? It is a book that I would probably read a second time. Third time would be pushing it, but I would still read it again. I rate it four out of five stars. And purely for the fact that it had no backstory for me. I love backstory. But, um, yeah. And that's it for this book review.